Hey guys, we're back with House Flipper again. It's Rachel and Lisa as always, and I've done a little bit of work on the house. The bathtub of doom went away. Yeah, it was stupid. So I actually put real furniture in here, and the bedroom now actually has a bed and doesn't look like it's left over from a genocide. Kitchen's a work in progress. Bathroom is cleaned up and done to an extent. We've got a doodah in here with a doodah on there and a doodah in the... That guy can shower in privacy. This is important, okay? Priorities. But, uh, we're gonna get a job. Eh, eh, buttons. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Shush. Okay, we're gonna pick a job to do. I don't know, okay? Um. Blah, 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 blah. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm picking a job. Uh, do the thing. Horrible colors. Yeah, screw it. I'll do. Do it. Oh, God, this house do looks it. terrible. Do it. Uh, uh, okay, this looks pretty horrific. Uh, oh, good God. Faded lemon. Uh, yeah. yeah, this has to go away. These colors are terrible. Um, paint. Faded lemon. Faded lemon. Where are you? Here you go. Which one are you on? Uh, help save me from these horrible colors, honey. This, this has to go the hell away. Um... These colours oh, yeah, were done by somebody it's just Stevie Wonder, I think. <laughs> I feel like even even Stevie Wonder could do better than what's in that house. Probably. I mean this looks like it was done by some sort of Colombian drug dealer. You know how they have amazingly horrible taste? Yes, yes. that's like they revel in it. They straight up love yeah, that. Yeah, they do. They absolutely do. Um Speaking as a Colombian drug lord. Obviously, yes. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, DA, if you're, you know, listening. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> or is she? I mean, Wait. who knows? Winky face. I mean, if they were going to come to my door for that, of all things, I mean, there's so much better they could come after me for. Problem is, you speak fluent, fluent Spanish, so that's all the evidence they need. I'm not that fluent. Enough. Usually I'll get myself into trouble, and I'll start talking really fast, and then I'll forget all of my Spanish, and then I'm trapped. <laughs> That's what happened with my nice lady doctor. That was mm. really... Listen, having half your visit in Spanish is really great, turns out. Mm. Oh god. Uh, bright peach. Okay, we're doing another paint color here. Uh, bright peach, oh, bright peach, oh. Where is bright peach? Oh, here it is. Bright Such peach. a nice color. You're a nice color. Your face isn't nice. Never mind. That was actually compliments. <laughs> I mean, you're a nice color is basically kind of quasi positively racist, but oh my God. Uh, saying your face is a nice oh, color no. is just complimentary. <laughs> oh my God, Lisa. There's no, there's like, uh, no safe place to go. There is no safe mm. place now. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Wherever you go, I'll follow you. you yes, I know you will. Oh god. Uh, painty, 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 painty. Oh right, so TV things. We're gonna do some TV recommendations while we're at this because we're talking house stuff. So TV is a part of houses. Ooh, um, yeah. have you been watching any Netflix? Uh, the last thing I watched was, in fact, Stranger Things season Okay, three. so, two recommendations for those of you watching this and all of the, the Lisa. Um, highly recommend Another Life, the new sci-fi mm -hmm. on there. Katie Sackhoff, a.k.a. Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica. Ooh. I should say the remake of Battlestar Galactica because it's not the original. Um, but uh, Katie Sackhoff in it, and it's actually really, really, really good. Uh, season one's <laughs> on Netflix right now. And also, Woo Assassins. What is it? Woo Assassins. Now, I can't stop thinking of your running around saying the Wu-Tang secret to everything. <laughs> and how I will never reveal it. Yeah. And it's basically, think like, um, Earth, there's evil evil kind of power stones that give people the power of the, the elements like Earth, wind, wood, is this water, like fire. Is meets Captain Planet? No, I'm a... no. Damn it. Um, those are the bad guys. They have the they're the Wu, and the Wu assassin is powered by like a thousand monks, and can use their faces to disguise himself, protect himself, and he has to go around this random Chinese cook guy in Chinatown, in San Francisco, 
ends up getting the power fuck? of the Wu assassin and has to go and kill the Wu. Only the first one turns it, out to be his tri San Francisco triad running uncle slash father slash adopted father. Yeah. Uh, it's it's actually thing. really good. Also, the there's a undercover undercover cop in there, in it, um, called CG, and she's played by the actress that played like Etheria in Vikings. I love this. I love she's a badass. She's she's a well she's actually a real world uh, black belt in certain martial arts and also uh, did was a stunt woman before she acted. Hence Vikings. Um, so she's actually very badass when it comes to the fight scenes and she kicks people's butts. In fact, four of the best fighters in this show are women. I can dig it. It's, yeah, it's, it's actually kind of amazing. Like, a really great show and I can't delete And legitimately and not panderingly? Oh, not at all. No. Yes. Okay, so we've got a bit of Bright Beach. Okay, we're doing Bright sure. Beach again. And I don't know if I can make good recommendations after those two. Those sound pretty big. Those are pretty good. Yeah, they are good. Damn. Uh, well, since uh, let me set the bar really low. Um, <clears throat> my current personal favorite. Are you uh, gonna disappoint me, wife? Are you gonna disappoint me? Is this no. thing? No. I won't disappoint you. It's uh, the Great British British Bake Off. <laughs> you are disappointing me. Okay, you disappoint me fully now. Um, I can't it's watch it. It's a great it. show about some British people who bake some shit. And I know, and it's I, so I can't delightful. Watch it. It's so I'll tell you why I like it. It's because American um, competition shows are always super hostile and you yeah. know, oh, it's super work, friendly. No I know that much, yeah. no sol you know, no solidarity. But on the British Bake Off, you'll see them work to help each other, and it's delightful. And we don't have that in America, so god damn it, I want to escape for 40 minutes sometimes. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. That is true. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to be vicious and competitive and. You know, play it like uh, The Apprentice when you're making a sponge cake. I mean, although to be fair, they should literally go to a window. That's not true because we also have Cake Boss and I will say, Wars or whatever. I will contradict my own just previous statement by saying, yeah, go near a Women's Institute baking competition in the UK. Those old ladies are vicious. I got on top of a bush and now I'm shooting water at a transformer. Um. Um. Okay. um I feel like we should do phrasing again. There's a lot to unload there, but I'm definitely uh, what I'm doing. That, you're making it what? worse. There's a lot to uh, unload there. I mean, I am shooting out a steady stream of water. Um, oh, um, this wood is covered. Um. What? Um. Huh? I don't think that means what you think it means. Then again, it's you, so you probably what? intentionally are saying this. Um, Shooting out a steady stream of coating wood. I mean, it is coated. Oh, God, please, sir, honey. Uh, <laughs> I mean, sometimes people... So, my favorite thing is when people don't know if I'm joking I think we or found not. a title again. And this one's your fault. Oh, no, I'm proud of what I've done. I knew everything from the beginning. No regrets. <laughs> That's the thing. Some people can't, people can't tell if I'm joking or not. So one of my favorite things to do is just to pretend I'm completely ignorant of the horrible thing I've just said. I can Liam see literally cannot figure out if I'm joking or not. I asked him where New Zealand was. <laughs> he, was he was so scared. He just didn't know if I was joking. Oh, you know he shot Pearl the other day. Oh, that bitch. Pearl was a hostage. She'd been taken hostage by an evil. Quasi Australian Walter. Did you get a chance to no scope him? 360? No, she was in the car, hostage. She was in his hearse, technically, with her grandson Ace's body in the back, apparently. Weird. Oh my god. Um, Another uh, dead Richards, and I had nothing to do with it? Yes, and. Um, oh, basement. Uh, so, yes, uh, Sleepy Blue. Okay, this one we can do. Um, so, yes, no, I uh, get kidnapped, and. Uh, yeah, so they take out the, the bad guy. All good, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Kiwi think as uh, Bobby's taking out Walter. Le uh, Walter, th uh, Liam thinks this looks fun. I'll join in. God damn it, and Liam. takes out Pearl, You're the Monster. hostage, who was in a different seat to the driver. Yeah, listen, he doesn't think about the consequences. I could have understood if I was being held in the guy's arms and he was like holding me as a shield, but no, we were sat parallelly to the car. 
Although apparently Kiwi did say that uh, the car was bouncing around on his screen and I don't believe him. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a targeted sure. Richard's elimination program. We're in endangered species now. I think you're all in now. danger. Well, and a, and a, a professional danger. assassin went after Earl recently. Wait, what? Yes. Uh, Ace hired a professional assassin. Who? Who the hell has an assassin besides you right now? Alex T. Oh my god. So yeah, so How, professional assassin went after Earl. No, well, no, Earl didn't die, but it was close. Um, and Ace met a very <laughs> sticky end when he was... Uh, one of Tony's other characters hit him with a car, <laughs> then emptied four or five magazines into him. Oh, Jesus. Four Is that because he, like, Earl. dented Earl's car once? No, apparently he hired the assassin to go after Earl. Earl's own son. Welcome to the Richards, um... Well, I'm uh, sorry I killed the only... Welcome to the Richards, one. the Lannisters of San Andreas. Yeah, but they're rich, they're not rich, and they're stupid. If they're not screwing each other, they're actually fairly rich. If they're not screwing each other, they're killing each other. Wait. Yeah. I mean, the Lannisters no. are basically rednecks with, mod with with medieval armor. Let's be honest. Oh yeah, they're trashy as hell. They're definitely new rich at best. Oh, absolutely. They're not classic. Also, my other Netflix uh, recommendation. Very good movie. It's called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. That's a great um, movie. You saw it? Yes! It's fucking great. It's very captivating. Mm. It's just follows a oh, I forget what the... inventive, creative young man. And There's hey, another hey. great one. Oh, go on. What I was going to say is just like, he's very creative and a lot of people don't support him, but he's got an idea and he brings that thing to life. Yes. And it's very interesting. That's an assignment. And we are done. Um, I helped. You did. Uh... I forgot what it's called, the other one, but there's the one about the kites in Afghanistan. Do you remember that one? Oh, I have the book. It's somewhere yes. on the desk. I forgot what it's uh, called. Oh, Windrunner. Kite Runner. Kite Runner? It's the Kite Runner. It's the kite yeah, runner. the Kite Runner. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'll do a garden job for the next one. I mean, something green. Uh, lawn and pool. This sounds fun. Let's do it. Yeah, oh, God, this house runner. looks huge. No, God. That's by Khalid Hassini. Yep. That's right. It That's by right. the actual Kite Runner himself. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to use the lawnmower. <gasps> Wait, you made it? Yes, I've got the first bitch to get the lawnmower. What's a bitch gotta do to get a lawnmower? How do you how get do I it? Mow Explain. Lawns? Explain. I need to. How do I mow? How, tell me, how do I get the mower? Am I mowing? <laughs> Dropping what I'm doing to find out if I can have a oh, there we go. Space to cut. Oh, this makes doing grass so much easier. Oh, God. I'm stuck. <laughs> Too much this bad. is like driving a drunk car. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is this is bad. I'm going to have to finish. I'm going to tidy up with the trimmer. This boat was so much more efficient, but I'm going to have to tidy up. Oh, God. This is a mess. This is a mess. It's like driving a drunk car. This is like GTA 1 physics in GTA 6. Oh god, this is terrible. I just, uh, this is so efficient compared to the, uh, the, the strimmer. Is it well, efficiently flawed? Uh, maybe. Oh, I wonder if that's any better at all since there was that update. Somehow will I doubt it. Probably. I'm just tidying up the bits I can't get to. Oh, okay, the edges of everything. Probably the best miniseries I've seen this year, and that would be too oh, yeah. I need to see that. Ooh, I still haven't you seen it. You have it. You would like it. You would really enjoy it. I think it's on Amazon um, now because I only I don't have HBO, so I need yeah, to wait for it to be on Amazon. Family members for. Well, no, um, we don't have HBO in the UK, as far as I'm aware. I think it was on Sky, but I just didn't get a chance to watch it. I could have sworn it was on a yeah, yeah I could have sworn it was on a specific channel. Yeah. It was on Sky nice. over here, but I I don't have cable. We don't have a normal TV. We have things I like Red Bull either. TV, YouTube, Amazon, Netflix. Yeah, I'm in charge of Amazon Prime for my family. It's a good thing to be in charge of. I mean, I have Prime for shipping and I have Prime for uh... awesome. Hey Amazon, sponsor me. I will pimp your stuff, okay? 
Not that you need help, but hey, I'm a struggling YouTuber. Give me money. Thanks. Um, Same. I have no videos. That's how struggling I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach you to make content soon. Don't worry. Um, the world wants it. The world is calling for Lisa to make videos, and we will make it happen. It's going to be great. I mean, I, I am I'll recording. I'll sort your channel out for you, so we will be good to go. Just gonna... I'm really excited to see what that... Um, yeah, I'll do something this weekend for you. Um... But no, uh, oh god, no, um, Amazon Prime, I love it, like, all series that got loads of stuff, like, I've been watching loads of the, the Discovery stuff, and I pay an extra five pounds a month on my Amazon Prime, and I get everything of Discoveries. That's not good, do you ever want to see me again? Exactly, yeah, like, I literally get oh everything god. from Discovery, everything. I love Discovery. I love the worst, dumbest, trashiest shows, give me the worst you got, Discovery, I love it, I'm that person. Oh my god, this lawnmower is so efficient. I don't know. I saw the size of this it. garden and I was terrified. You need to do the mission, the lawn and pool one. <gasps> Where is it? So flabbergasted right now, I can't click. I just want to know how to mow, man. You basically place it, then you hold space and drive it like a terrible car. Car. Jelly car. You get stuck in everything. I, I actually do love Gwyn's with horrendous car physics. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it sounds perfect. Is it embarrassingly bad? Pretty much, yeah. Well, not terrible, but it's not awful. It's not great. It's very wooden. Ooh, house flipper. No. That's stiff. Oh, terribly stiff. Rigid, one might say. So it's hard to handle. Oh, terribly difficult to handle. A real handful. I need to use both hands. Well, I, I can believe it. It's hard to maneuver something that large. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> I led you into that one, and I knew exactly what we were heading towards, and I didn't blink. I can't, I can't even play the prude card here. See, sometimes, sometimes... You'll have to speak up, the lawnmower is very loud! Sometimes, you know what, we're just the worst, and it's beautiful, and I love it. We are. America. Yes. Well, yeah. Trying to mow this lawnmower, hitting everything in the garden. I mean, who cares? It's not like there are going to be consequences for running over things that are important to people. No, it just stops the mower dead in its tracks rather than mowing over the... It's a nice bush. Yeah, in reality, that lawnmower would kill it. But here, no, it stops it dead. Amazing. I love... That when it tells me just to place a plant and it has no... I'm like, okay, I'm going to place the... Just any way you want. And put it yeah. in the worst possible spot. That counts. Yes. I like rearranging people's furniture in just atrocious ways where, you know, if they walk in, they're trapped. Yeah. They're going to be super trapped in their house. Ever since, I think, it was Alex T who introduced this concept of moving the car around the house to me. I've just been <laughs> a changed woman. Yes. Mowing with the mini-map to make sure I get the edges just right. Well, that's right. I mean, you gotta pay attention to the edges, the detail. There we go. You're probably actually the only person who can tell when I genuinely am unaware of a horrible thing I've just said. Oh, yeah. Like... And it's normally quite obvious because normally you're not trying not to giggle afterwards. Or my voice pitches up approximately a single author. Yeah. But you, would, you, you have a towel. You have a dirty towel. Oh. And that sounds as bad as it is. <laughs> Giggity. Yeah, you're really quiet again because this lot damn low mouth is really loud. Ah! I have left the lawnmower. Yeah. 
there we go. It should be, yeah, you need to do the lawn and thingy one, but it isn't unlocked. I must say, it makes doing it so much more efficient. I just want to know what it's like on the other side. Yeah, it's great. I'm nearly done on a huge garden, and I mean a huge garden. Ooh, large tracks of land. Large tracks of land indeed, my girl. Tell me all about your large tracks of land. Okay, nearly done with this. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> There's so much more going through my head. Like, nope. Yep. I actually wonder comparatively how much more efficient this is because it doesn't feel like it's amazingly efficient. I mean, it's kind of really, I love whacking the leaves with this uh, edge trimmer. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to the new wave. <laughs> okay, we're done with that, and the silence reigns. Plant backyard, oh pool, backyard pool. Okay. Ooh. Uh, faster planting. We'll go with that one. Outdoors. Uh, what the hell am I planting? Backyard pool, Moline. That's all I want right now. Plan for that lawnmower, man. Uh, Molina Stones Black? I, it doesn't say which one! It doesn't, and it's horrible, because it doesn't care that it didn't tell you. You still have to find the right one. Oh god, this is huge. Uh... Oh. Oh my god, this is a massive digging project. It's a whole pool, I have to sink. Watch it uh, still yeah, be only say. three spadefuls. Oh no. No, but it's not. It's going to be like 20 spoonful, spadefuls as I dig a hole. It's like frigging... it doesn't make sense. This game doesn't make sense sometimes. You can now place the pool at the bottom of the not huge thing. Don't... So when I start at a house, I don't care what the job is. If I can mow the yard, I will every yeah, time. I think I put the wrong pool in, maybe. Unless it tells me. Oh, God. I have to use turf. No, I got it. I got it. I got Ugh. it. Okay. Yeah, I got a pool. I'm in the pool. That's awesome. That looks really nice now. Okay, two wooden sun chairs. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Wooden sun chair. Bingo bango boshko. I'm gonna roll some sod. Sodding sod. Um, oh, the order's done. I hate when you put Fantastic. it down, it looks like it's gonna fit and it doesn't. God damn you house flippers. And I am gonna end this episode with phrasing. What do you mean? It looks like it's gonna fit, but it doesn't fit. Seriously, oh, you didn't shit. see that one coming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.